Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, we're doing electrical today. Everyone's been asking about how to do electrical. This is how you do electrical. So we've got a electrical box here connected to a piece of rigid, uh, not EMT. It's rigid, so it should hopefully hold up against the rammer. We'll see. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is put this up against the wall, run screws through the form into the wood, and then this will go all the way through the wall to the outside where we will hook up. So if you were running electrical like down further up a wall or something like this, you would just bend this so it would follow the foam, go up to where you needed to go and then poke out wherever it needed to poke out. This, we're, we, we have the luxury of being able to go straight through. So we're gonna put this through. One thing we're doing to make sure that we have the measurement correct is we ran these threads on this side so we can actually unscrew it so it'll sit nice and tight up against the wall. And then when it's all rammed in and ready to go, we can thread a new piece of pipe in right here. So that is how we are doing the electrical for this wall. If this goes wrong, it's Luke's fault. <laughs> that makes sense. That checks out. Okay. Okay. But the, the mixed design element of it was something that, you know, because they, they just have such a wealth of knowledge and experience behind them that they'll be able to tell you, yes, that's going to, and Joss will shoot you straight. I mean, I don't know if you, if you all have met with Joss yet. He is a straight shooter. He'll tell you, nope, that's stupid. Don't do that. You know, or he'll go, or he'll go, yep, you can do that, but you're gonna you're gonna end up working twice as hard. Yeah. Here's the best, easiest, most efficient way to do it. Here's the medium way to do it, and here's the most complex. And he'll go, all of them will work, yeah. but how hard do you want to work? You know? So it's over there. And this one goes like this here. Nice. Mixed. So they are mixing up a very dark color. And we're going to do an accent in the wall that we're doing. I need to talk to the boss about something. the accent. I know. It more. seems like we should see more color than that right now. It's just slow to mix. I see it's coming. trying to shoot it over in the corner and then all of a sudden and I, oh. I, I was about to tell Megan to cut it off and like readjust and, and I wasn't fast like I saw it coming and I wasn't fast and I was trying to tell it to stop because I could tell something was not like it wasn't yeah. coming out yeah it happens yeah all right oh can you put it in that phone break that's what I'm hoping for dude just put it in even if it's not perfect it'll be all right so what we're about to do is put in our electrical conduit here. So what we're going to do is Luke is going to measure and tell me how far over I need to go and how far above I need to go. 
And then we're going to just send these screws from the outside of the form all the way into this wood, which mm. will allow us to have our electrical It'll box. keep the junction box tight up against the formwork, so that way we won't have any uh, rammed earth intrusion. That's the theory, at least. <laughs> that way it'll be nice and flush against the wall. Sweet! And note that these here screws holding the uh, block of wood in are on this side of the junction box and not on this side. So we can actually take them out when it's time. Good call. Yeah, yeah. See, I actually right, thought so about Luke's, it. Luke's gonna go put this in. Wait, what's all this we stuff? It's communal. Communal. <laughs> How far down from the top first? Okay, so question. Would you rather the J box centered or just off center um, in the foam break slash where you can actually put screws in it because center is like right up? Okay. Yeah, plus, plus you actually wouldn't be able to run screws in because the Ooh, so that's something to know. For the house, we have to be able to screw into the uh, junction box from the outside of the form. However, if the formwork is in the way, we can't necessarily accurately drill through the steel and into the junction box. So we need to be aware of that. Need to be aware of that and have to have some amount of leeway left or right. And I also just had a little bit of a panic attack when I was holding this up and realized that there's like two inches of space. <laughs> because like, oh, two inches of space. Two inches of space. <laughs> so we haven't actually explained this yet. Right here, you see the light colored wood, which is like chamfer and then more boards in here. That is so that there will be an inset for us to be able to put so, our sign uh, inset into the rammed earth. Um, are our screws long enough to go through? Yes, they are three inch screws and we've got two, three and a quarter. Two and three quarters, right? Yeah. It'll be fine. So Luke is expertly sticking that down in our foam gap. Okay. Ooh, is that gonna be... <laughs> Very close. close. Okay, so here's a mistake that I made, okay? So I was left in charge of cutting the conduit to length, which was a mistake. Um, <laughs> I made a little oopsie and I pulled measurement from that end of the form because I didn't want to walk through all the rebar. Um, but in the middle of the form, there is about three eighths of an inch to half an inch of push out more than where I took measurement. So I kind of took into account the possibility of variation and I left some threads left on this here coupler. So I can actually back the coupler off and meet the form, but it is right there. Like, it is so close to not fitting, but it fits and it should be good. Do you think that ramming around that is going to knock it off? No, because it's still threaded on. Okay. But what I am slightly worried about is um, bending? either bending or uh, ripping the screws out. Because if this does get hit, then all of a sudden you've got this 20 inch lever that's acting against those two screws that are coming through the formwork. So 
I can really you, can want. Can you back it out from the threads over there at all? No, because this side is the a, way that it is. It's a com yeah. It's it's the way that it is because of the way that it is. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, no, it's a compression fitting, so it, I mean, technically we could back it out a little bit, but I don't know enough about these fittings to know if that would compromise the integrity of it or not. Um, but honestly, I think it's all well within... Close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. <laughs> all right. So... Okay, now you yeah. just have to try to direct Ricky to exactly where that is. Yeah, that's going to be, uh, well, that's what editing is for, right? Yeah. We definitely hit it the we're, first we're, try. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to skip to when we get it right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... All right, love, he's going to give you measurement. All right. Um... Okay, so... Um, right there... Put one at 56. One at 56? Yes, right in the middle of that tape. Right in the middle of that tape. Yeah. I don't see it sticking out on this side. Do you have a screw in your knee? <laughs> <laughs> no screw in Luke's knee. Okay. Next one. The screw is in. Uh, can Ricky? Yeah. Can you back it out just a smidge and then resend it? Okay. Send it. There we go. That's a lot tighter. Um. Should I go left or right of that? It's gonna go. Let me double check. Your left or my left? <laughs> other left. You other left. Uh, could you do like an inch and a half down, directly down from that? Sure. Um, I think that's level-ish, up and down. Ready? Close enough. Send it. Sweet. Um, that actually was without editing. Yeah, and, and I mean, Kendall, what would you think about this? Because it's like right at the end of the threads. Yeah. And I undo it all the way. And I'm kind of worried about additional push out. And then we're still going to have dirt in, in, intrusion. What if I make up a little like three eighths inch thick? block and cut just some really quick chamfers on that block and just stick it in there. Yeah, that's fine too. Maybe even like glue it. <laughs> no, well, I, I think that it. if you if you unscrew it into that, that pressure will be enough. Get it really tight. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good call. We'll try it. Cool. This, this is a good place to uh, make these kind of discoveries. Yes. Two, one, go. All right, so we forgot to film a wrap up on the last day of Sirewall. So uh, before I go, I do want to give a shout out to our patrons. Thank you, mom and uh, Jessica and Jacob, I guess. Um, and also uh, Kathy, thank you. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. And if you want to support us on Patreon, link in the description, sign up and you too can get your name said at the end of one of our videos, because that's somehow makes it worth it. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.